Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is December 20th and it looks like Samsung just recently pushed out a software update for the Galaxy Buds Plus in the last 48 to 72 hours. Now, because I don't really go to the gym anymore just because of COVID, I'm not really using my earbuds as much. I'm also not mowing the lawn as it's starting to become winter. But when you do go inside of your Samsung Galaxy wearable application, and if you do use your earbuds, maybe you found it, maybe you haven't. But in order for you to find this update, it doesn't really let you know right away you first want to open up your case then when you go inside of your Galaxy wearable application it might even ask you for a update I did have to update my Galaxy wearable application today then on the top left hand side make sure you move over to your Galaxy Buds Plus now once you're inside of the screen here I already searched for a software update so that's why I'm getting this little notification sitting right there which is also another reason why I wanted to shoot this video because it's one that isn't really specifically known out front that there is an update so you just want to scroll down to the very bottom and you look for this spot right here where it says earbuds software update go to download and install and if you see that little orange dot it means that i already found it for you if you don't see it then you should be able to find it right here this version is ending in atl1 the size is 1.38 megabytes so it's pretty small but what's new is that it's just improving the system stability and reliability so we're going to go through we will be downloading this then we'll install it and the thing is that you do want to make sure that you are connected to a wi-fi network so here we go let's install it right now and usually at this point in the video i do want to let you guys know if you guys are brand new here at the channel of jimmy's promo you appreciate these tips tricks tutorials and the latest information and also the latest details on software updates make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos now once this update is finished i will go inside of the application we'll take a look at the tips location we'll see if there's anything that's new anything that's added uh, but more than likely it's probably just going to make sure that you have a better connection through bluetooth better reliability uh, and just everything that's stated right here so it could just be something that they need to do every so often because some people do like to respond back with samsung stating that it's kind of cutting in it's cutting out things like that when samsung gets enough of those responses then they go through and send off a update or a patch so the screen here just stated to keep the case open it'll re-establish its connection and then once it does establish its connection then we're able to take a look at everything so the way that mine is set up is that i do have mine set up for that dynamic sound uh, you can turn on the ambient sound if you want to and actually these galaxy buds plus are fantastic when it comes down to ambient sound i love this when i was at the gym when i was mowing everything else i'm able to hear everything outside uh, i would rather have ambient sound than active noise cancellation because ambient sound actually is something that is beneficial and it helps especially if you're running on the street um, but when it comes down to the active noise cancellation as long as you have the correct buds in place and the tips and the wings you're not going to hear anything from the outside so it is going to keep everything inside of your ears uh, so touch controls um, usually I also have this block touches but I wanted to turn this off because I wanted to play a lot with some of the the voice commands the ambient sound things like that I always block it but some people were always asking how is the touch controls so I am playing with it without the block uh, reading notifications allowed so you're able to select which applications for the advanced uh, so it doesn't seem like that there's anything new here but i do remember the update a while ago for that seamless earbud connection that was something that was actually pretty cool uh, for galaxy labs you have double tap the earbud edge which is super clutch when you double tap on the very top uh, it does change the volume and it's actually really nice to have that so then this way you can have all the other touch things be other things like ambient sound and such uh, high uh, extra high ambient volume and then you also have gaming mode and then when you go inside of find my earbuds you're able to take a look at these locate them for the galaxy buds live you can also have them all connected with your smart things as well uh, general so this is just where you're able to reset it so nothing new uh, here's the tips and user manual so it doesn't look to be anything that's added in uh, this is where you can scroll through you can read things scroll up and down uh, talk about ambient sound charging with your phone case battery level pairing with phone or tablet and then the very bottom for that about earbuds again the software version is ending in the atl1 and that's really pretty much everything that you need to know um you don't really need to look at all that stuff right there so there's an update it's kind of one of those you know quick little updates for you specifically pun intended for an update uh, because not a lot of people are looking at their earbuds right now maybe you are using it more often so I guess that's kind of fun. Write a comment below the video if you're still at least this point 
in the video. Write a comment below the video if you guys are using it more or less due to being at home more uh, and also with all the restrictions and everything else. For me, I've been using my buds a lot less, especially with it getting colder, not really going to the gym, not really going out and about, just staying safe and in social distancing. But hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side right over here. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.